so I'm on the final stretch of finishing off this album, putting the finishing touches on each little track and listening to it a million freaking times until I'm happy with it. Writing and composing and recording, they're the fun parts. Then you have to mix, which is slightly less fun, but still has lots of room for being creative. It's in the mix where you start adding things like echo and effects and reverb. And if you want something to sound weird and auto tuny you do the weird and auto tuny part. And if you want something to sound like it's in the bottom of a well, you make it sound like it's in the bottom of a well. And then comes mastering. Mastering is like... Okay, so... So you have this banana. That's a really great looking banana, you say to yourself. I'd like to get closer, but then you get closer and you're like, this is too close. You can't see the rest. Where's the top? Where's the nib? So then you try and get further away. Then you further away again. If you focus on the end, if you maybe get it from this angle, I mean, you're still not seeing all of it though. You, but as clear as you saw when you were further away. So you step back, you reevaluate the banana, what's the most important part? Do I need to see the middle of the banana so close? Or can I maybe afford to just see the ends? Get close, maybe bite bend it, and you start making compromises, you know? You start thinking, well, what if I chop off this bit? If I cut this middle bit out and make a smaller banana, maybe I can see all of it really close maybe come at it from a different angle. Mastering is essentially the art of making something loud without making it noisy. And I am not a mastering engineer. So I mean, I'm going a little bit crazy. And nowhere has it been more apparent than on my Snapchat. If you're one of the privileged few who follow me, you may have noticed me going a little off the rails. I know it's a really relatable situation to be in, so I mean, I don't need to describe to you how much I want to fucking punch something. There was that time I improvised an entire Andrew Lloyd Webber style musical about unicorns having a war with humans. I demand a fair assessment. You are really being a dick. You fraternize with the humans, and for this you must pay my blood, not the elixir of life. But where, oh, where do you find the elixir of love? There was that time I thought I was a cat. Mix! I'm a bingy bing! And I mix, 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 and I mix, 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 mix! I'm a bingy bing! And I mix all day, and I mix all night! But here's the thing, okay? You persist through the madness, because on the other side of that portal, that lens to another world, it takes you to the completed project. And I cannot express how excited I am to hold this album in my hands. Not pictured in this, of course, is all the time I've spent staring out the window into oblivion, hitting things, shouting at equipment, crying into my palms when something doesn't quite sound right, but I would do it all again. And I plan to, because that moment when you know the project is finally finished and you've made something worthy, that's gold.